Hi, hi everyone. Uh, I'm back and I'm gonna go up and show piece off all my pieces uh, that I've done so far. So this is the first one I did. It's uh, I did a set of three. Um, I did it initially uh, just with some local uh, paint from uh, a family dollar store. Uh, just this deco art stuff. You can find that pretty much anywhere. Uh, I, on a lark, I finally said, you know what, I just gotta go up and do this, right? I mean, that's what pretty much everyone that's there and watches this, watch, watches videos, like, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, and uh, I'm like, I went out to Michael's on a Friday, and I'm sitting here like, well, you know, this stuff's expensive, I can't really afford it, you know, and, and I come home, and I'm just like all depressed, and I finally said, you know what, it doesn't matter, it just doesn't matter, just go up and do it. Buy some cheap stuff and do it. So this is the result I got. Um, so these are the first three. Um, it's just with primaries, primaries white and black. Except this one, I had a the family had a little bit of silver, and I want to mix it in there, and it actually turns out to look really nice. This one, it's pretty bad. Like, I mean, you can go up and see. It's just blah. And if you look down here, that's where I put my finger in it. So that's kind of the, that's the junk one. Like, I don't, I, I hate it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I really don't like it. I don't really like this one either. It's kind of busy. It's like I'm sitting here doing a ribbon and uh, it's just all sorts of stuff going on. I, but I mean, what do you expect? This is my first one. This is my second one, you know, so, um, I'll keep them, you know, I'll, because I don't think anyone's going to ever want to buy them, but, you know. Uh, and then this is the third one. A um, bunch of silver in here. Got nice little spots where there's a little bit of bright red through here. and I, I really like that. It kind of does the same thing here. But, uh, yeah, so these are the uh, first three. This is the first video uh, that I have on YouTube. So I'm going to try to do these in order. Uh, from what I remember, I can't say that I've got them all in order, but that's what we're going to try to do. So, this is either the second or third video. Um, I went up and mailed my dad, uh, one of those two. Um, pick, let him pick which one for, uh, Father's Day. So, and that was the one that he wanted. And, uh, so, I've got this piece here. And, uh, you know, lots of... Lots of yellow right through here. Really like this mesh of color. Although there's not a whole lot of change in it, but I just kind of like that dark, uh, dark blue. Um, I'm really partial to blue. I like that more than all the other stuff. Um, but okay, so there's that one. Then I've got this one, and get got some mix some orange in this and. Uh, yeah, you know, I just got this right here, you know, I got all kind of blue popping up through the orange and the yellow, and yeah, so, you know, I really, really like this, like, I just love all these weird cells popping out, and yeah, and let's see, here's where it's kind of just slapping on some stuff and it kind of rolls off the side so clearly not uh not that nice but uh all right so this this is end up out of the first six or first seven this is my favorite i mean just look at how dynamic how the yellow pops out and then you got this weird this awesome looking nebula looking blue and you know just looks like it just looks like star stuff and being uh having a bachelor in physics <laughs> obviously i like space and i'm um, a giant nerd and uh so any of the sci-fi look stuff and like you know this looks like it could have popped right out of uh guardians of the galaxy so uh, it's one of my favorite pieces so far um let's see I don't remember. Okay. I think. Yeah. 
So this is the next one I did. Um, it was kind of on demand from the wife. Uh, I was sitting here doing some pinks, greens, and then a blue and white. I just can't get this to stand out nice. I mean, it's kind of dull. I mean, that's uh, like the only nice spots that really stick out are here and a little bit here. There's just a ton, a ton of green. And I found, I found that in a lot of my ladder paintings I've done. I'm, I just don't like that look. But, you know, it's at least interesting, though. is because the green here is just thin enough where you can start seeing the blue popping out, purple popping out. And, you know, even though I don't necessarily like the whole color things, it's different. Uh, and even kind of has like a S in my head and it's, looks like this and you know whirlpoolish stuff right there so yeah you know it, I don't mind it uh, it doesn't show up good on the uh, phone but it's even kind of like this in real life so you know <laughs> whatever it's a piece um, okay so yeah, that's not it. So, one then last Sunday, Saturday, last Sunday, I was I wanted to do two monochromes. Uh, one was going to be red and one was going to be blue. I ended up not doing the blue because I had some stuff that I didn't really like. Uh, when I was making these, although they turned out to be, you know, in my opinion, pretty freaking lo uh, sweet looking. But, uh, so, yeah, people really love this. Coworker of mine, <laughs> she's like, I want to buy this one. It's like, well, well <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I might give some of these initially away just because, you know, I don't want to sell to friends. But, uh, you know, it's... I, I, you know, with this one here, I mean, you got all this white, you know, and it's contrasted with this little black, and, um, you know, just a lot of interesting stuff going on here. This one is, you know, it's nice and all, and you got some weird stuff going on here, but there's a lot more, it feels like there's a lot more gray in here, and that's not what I was really liking. Um, so... Yeah, that that's if you watch the video, you can kind of see me uh, talking about how you know it's just like oh I didn't really like this and that, and, but you know it still turned out to be pretty cool looking. Um, the next one was this. Um, yeah, you know it's there's nothing super interesting about it to me like it's you know there's a little bit of yellow there a little bit of yellow there and just not a whole lot going on it's really really grayed out um you know it's up and learned <laughs> a little bit uh about uh complementary colors and uh re looking at color theory now and realizing oh, i need to learn the color wheel and i had a lot of orange and a lot of blue. And apparently, what happens when they mix? You get gray. And there's just a whole lot of gray in this. So, you know, it's not particularly nice. But, you know, it still has good cell formation and all sorts of weird stuff going on. So, you know, just can't hate it. But this is this is my favorite so far. This is... Uh, video 10 and uh, Look at that. I mean does that not look sweet You know just this pops right out and you know when I was making this I went up and had a uh, Big spot here, and it was kind of like concave down where I This was really really wet like I had just ton of water in this 
and I went and found out later that <clears throat> when you get these spots where they go right down to the canvas and uh, you know that your silicone is making the cell you know just kind of cup like that that uh it's because you got too much water and uh, it's messing with it and you can kind of see you know looking at it I can go up and see a little bit of um, the canvas there and there's not as much paint as um, should be but it doesn't matter because this is freaking awesome <clears throat> like that right there this I mean just you know is it you know you get all this busyness here and it's just kind of you know nice and big and smooth and then you know you got the nice you know I don't know I don't know too much about <laughs> art I've taken one class um, in my uh, about eight years I spent getting my degree so uh, I don't know too much about it but regardless it's awesome okay so the next ones I went and did uh, you can see the push pins in them I'm still letting them fully dry I went and did these uh, Thursday Friday Thursday I did these last Thursday it's uh, Monday now um, they're still I'm, I'm gonna give them another day and I'm the varnish but you know I'm, I don't mind this it's they're not changing anywhere they're not they're not changing but so well, I went and mixed up my own green, and then I got some blue and red, and, uh, yeah, it's just not very, not very appealing, right? I don't know. I don't find it appealing. Um, maybe other people do. I don't know. But, you know, whatever. Uh, that one's 11, video 11. Uh... Here's 12. Uh, this one was a really bad disaster. I mean, it was... Actually, it was... Yeah, it was like this. Where right through here, it was all blue. And then right through here, it was all green. It just... I just turned this pour and just... Bloop, and then poured more turquoise and... Bloop, and none of it mixed, and I open, dump it on there, and it just looked like crap. So that's when I got to really start using a ribbon. And you can see, I made some nice ribbons through here. And then I think I made a small one through here. And, uh, you know, kind of gives it a, like, Jupiter, you know, some kind of planetary look, gas giant look. Or you just got a few lines like that, and you know it didn't turn out to be too bad, in my opinion. Um, could have been a lot worse. Definitely could have been a lot worse. But uh, okay, I'm gonna pause and get the last two that I went and did uh, yesterday. All right. So okay, so these are the two that I did last night. Um, I went and used um, Artist Loft's copper, silver, this is burnt sienna, and I went and used uh, brilliant blue, uh, mixed some white into it to lighten it up a little bit, um, and this is what popped out. Um, it's kind of a little weird right here, Just, it's all, all copper right there. Uh, maybe that's, I can't remember, I'd have to look back at the video, I'm sitting here pouring some of it down, but... Dummy, what are you doing? Of course, I put my finger right into it, forgetting that it's still wet. Ugh. I'm so disgusted with myself now. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, well. Um, so, right. There's a whole lot of this copper that's popping right on through. And it looks really, really nice. It kind of has the same look as uh, uh, some of those primary elements that Anne Marie Eaglesman has in some of hers. Um, it's not as vibrant, but uh, 
Yeah, so I mean, it, you know, it, it definitely has a reflection uh, when I'm sitting here looking at it, although part of that might be because it's, you know, still wet. <laughs> uh, that's so noob. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, I often did this one. Uh, and then this is the uh, last one I did. And, I mean, look at that. Like, it's not like any of the other ones I did, right? I mean, all, all the other ones are... Well, it might be like that pink one that I was talking to you about. It's kind of reminding me of that, because there's no yellow. or something that really just kind of vibrantly pops out. But I like it all the same. It's It was just a, a light blue uh, copper... Silver and a whitened burnt sienna, and I got this. And one of the weird things that I'm getting for both of these pieces actually is you can kind of see right here it's it's textured. Both of these are a lot of the stuff like that. Um, no, maybe not. Right there, those little bubbles there. That's uh, right. I could be wrong, but um, there's a lot of texture to it, and I'm sitting here wondering if it's the copper paint that uh, I bought, or uh, it's because I went blowtorched. And I mean, if you go up and look at those two videos, <laughs> oh my God, it's like with this one. Uh, in particular, I'm sitting here just going at it, and just plastic starts smoking. I started doing the same thing with this one. One of the cups start, the cups started, I go up and see smoke coming up, and like not getting any cells to, any new cells to show up. Which I actually started thinking about why I'm not getting the, you know, you just get these huge, small little ones that pop up in the time, uh, Torch gets supply, and I start thinking about it. I only, you know, when I'm sitting here mixing up the silicone, I go up and spray it in, and I go up and stir it for like that long. And I don't know if that's long enough. I think I might, it doesn't break up the silicone into small enough pieces to uh, disperse through the entire medium. So, next couple ones I'm doing is I'm going to go up and add a bunch of silicone and I'm just going to stir like crazy and see if that gets any different results with the torch. But, I mean, I, I guess I don't need to obsess about it too much because, you know, I, I'm getting this stuff without even torching. So, you know, like, I get plenty of color and weird stuff going on, so I don't need to do that. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go up and con conclude there. Um, you know, that's all the paintings I've done so far. It's, uh, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 13, 15. So I've done 16, uh, paintings so far. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop. Like, uh, I'm gonna keep going and hopefully at some point every one of them will turn out like this. Uh. I can't wait. I hope everyone uh, that does watch this uh, enjoys the videos and uh, yeah. So uh, I hope everyone has a good day and uh, thanks for watching.